All right, we're here at Brian Gundy's house. We're gonna do a tour of his collection. All right, come on in. Okay, Brian Gundy, what's your favorite snake in this in your collection? In this collection right now? In the, right the now. The snake, singular. A singular snake. Okay, it probably has to be this one. Oh yeah, that's one. Right. Yeah, this is my favorite snake. Wow. Isn't that something? Let me make sure I got that on video. Wow. And what kind of snake is this? This is a firefly enchi yellow belly pied. It's a beautiful snake. And that's something. I can see why that is your favorite though. <laughs> so I'll be breeding him to a couple of my pied clowns to produce pastel leopard. Um, fire, yellow belly, pied, het for clown. Okay. Everything will be head for clown if I breed this to my pied clowns. Definitely. Okay. Isn't that pretty though? That's a really nice snake. Okay, so can you tell me what you're known for? Like, what are, what's a snake that you're known for? Uh, probably, my, I don't know, my pied clowns. People know me from my pied clowns, so we'll just kind of get them out. And, Put them on display. Here's a nice big female that I produced about five years ago. This beautiful snake. And, she's, and here's another one. This is her sister. And you were asking me earlier about my holdbacks and I would say probably 80% of the snakes in my collection are holdbacks. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, let's see, here's another pied clown. This is a pastel leopard. Yeah, you got a lot of pied clowns. Female pied clown. And your, yours look really nice too, compared okay. to like other people's. Um, do these have the stripe on them? Or? No, these, because they're the pastel yeah, leopard, that stripe just goes away. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all of my other, um, uh, my pied clowns, as you can see, the you know, striping has just followed through on all of my pie clouds. Oh, that's really nice. And uh, continue, we have a um, female pied het clown. And you can see that striping how consistent it is. And Definitely. I, I love the black that borders the, the saddles. It's a beautiful snake. Oh, thanks. Hold back. Uh, let's see. So here's another, uh, this is a female, pastel leopard, pied clown. About a year old. Man, look at the colors on them. Isn't that something? Look at the head. Wow. You pulled this one out earlier? Yep. Yeah, he pulled that all over one. Mm -hmm. This one's nice. I'm still trying to get used to this gimbal. And then another male pastel leopard pied clown. Beautiful. Wow. I really, before coming here, I didn't realize how many pied clowns you really had. I know, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, I've only let a few go, actually, that I've produced. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is coming. Oh, and then, uh, actually, one of my favorite snakes, and I showed this to you earlier, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Oh, this, this is berm this is amazing. this Burmese python. Look at this. And I just and I just purchased this from Morph Market about a month ago or so. Oh, you did get off of Morph mm -hmm, Market. Mm -hmm. Wow. And did you know it was going to be this orange? Oh, yeah. When I saw it, I had I couldn't let it pass. I couldn't let it pass That's by. Right. I mean, I'm dish. This is the best albino Burmese python I've ever seen. I would say too. I, would say, <laughs> I thought it had some other gene in yeah, it. Yeah, no, I've never seen one that looks like this. You and might. I can't take credit for producing, but I sure can take credit for buying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. And you will be and using this is that a female, snake. so this will grow to be you know anywhere from 15 to 18 feet long or something, something like that. Definitely. And then you also do have a, a male that um, that you have that you probably breed to that down the road, possibly. Yeah, yeah here he is here. Just, just wait. Let me go a little further back so you guys can get this whole Berman 
perspective. This guy is just about to go to a next cage, a big vision cage. But yeah, here is the albino green. It's about two years old. And just <laughs> super gentle. Wow, that's a cra that's insane. <laughs> I love the colors on this guy. Yes, I love how it's just a, how shiny they are. Oh, definitely. Wow. And then eventually, I'll be taking this guy into the Pied Clown project, also. And what do we have here? This one's like, I don't think you showed me this one. Uh, I haven't. This is an ultra male. Ultra male. Wow. Male adult ultra male. Wow. That so, one's nice. So is that just a plain ultra male? Just a plain ultra male. Okay. Then you'll get your uh, triple head out of that. Or yeah. no, you would get. Well, you would get, if I t took yeah, it to the pie clown, I'd get double, triple, triple heads, but triple. I won't be going that route. Because that's a little be, hard to land on. Yeah. So heads. what I'll be doing is taking this into the, you know, the gold blush stuff and then s sneaking it into the. You know, layering the jeans, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and then once I've got stuff got layered, you. Start from the beginning, almost. Yeah, exactly. That's just the way I work. Got you. Yeah, because yeah, in a gold blush with that, I can yeah, imagine exactly. how that would look. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of gold blush, here's a really. This nice is how I know you. This is where I know you from. <laughs> is the gold blush? This is a really nice holdback. Uh, gold blush pastel fire, uh, Mojave. Wow. Female. It's a beautiful snake. Isn't that something? And again, I'll be putting this into the, um, into the pie clown project. In fact, we are, we've already pretty much started that. So here's a gold blush mystic double head pie clown. The, you said the, it has a mystic in its Mystic, okay. yeah. Yeah, this isn't Mojave. You can see the di major difference, but yeah, this is oh, uh, Gold Blush Firefly yeah. Mojave, Gold Blush Mystic Double Head Pie oh. Clown. Okay. And here's another one, sort of fits that same realm, female. This is also a Gold Blush Mystic Double Head Pie Clown. The beautiful snake. Wow, look at the head on that one, though. Is it getting the color okay? Yeah, definitely. Wow. I did not see that. And what I like about this snake, you look at the eyes, you see the eyebrows. Uh -huh. See how short the eyebrows are? Usually those extend all the way back another the, half I, an inch or so. Yeah, yeah. I but see it's a little short, right? Yeah, they're very short, yeah. So probably makes the print that makes that snake so nice. Oh, yeah, I see what you know, yeah. And let's see. Um, you like this snake earlier. So, oh yeah, definitely. So this is a pastel leopard pied head clown. Excuse me, yeah, pastel leopard pied head clown. Yeah, that's this or, one. Excuse me, I forgot. Orange dream. Orange dream. <laughs> can you show me a little bit of the oranges on the side? Yeah, sure. Yeah, look, this guy. So you can see the orange coming through here. Also, right back here. Oh yeah, this snake is, but, but, but that's why I hate that the camera, it doesn't show on camera, it's what you can see in person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the lighting, it's pretty dark in here. So yeah, that's a pastel leopard, um, orange dream pied, 100% head for clown. Wow, that's a beautiful snake. And I'll be taking him to the pied clowns this year to hopefully produce pastel leopard, orange dream pied clowns. Okay. That's, that what this, that that's, what, that's why this snake was held back. Got you. To, okay. to do to get to that route. And speaking of orange dreams, here's a high intensity orange dream head pied. Uh, I was showing you earlier. But oh yeah, this one right here would be nice to put. Look in. at look at the yellows on her. That one's definitely nice. Yeah, the yellows right there. It's amazing. And there's just, it's het pied, but uh, nothing else. That's still nice. That'll be just to produce that orange oh, yeah. dream pied. Yeah. And you, these, was that uh, the orange dream we were just looking at? That was a female, huh? That was, was that a male? 
Oh, that was a male. So that would you pair that to that one or? Uh, no, I would probably go into the pie clown. The pie clown stuff. Yeah, because he's hit for clown. Got gotcha. you. Oh, so yeah. it only yeah, it makes sense to do that. Yeah. Here's one of my favorites, also the mother of some most of the snakes I just showed you. This is a um, very fat. <laughs> Definitely. Um, really nice. Orange dream pine, and she's just sure. looking perfect for the breeding season. Wow, she's really nice. And this is kind of nice. This is a gold blush firefly Mojave. Gold blush firefly Mojave. Right. That gold blush really. Yeah, just, pretty, look how clean. Yeah, definitely. Like the yellows are, and all of these, uh, the pastels in this, these, all these projects, most of them anyway come from Mark Bell line of Pastel. Okay. Pastel, Bell. not um, Greg Graziani, but um, Mark Bell's line, which I think are the better, is the better line. Gotcha. They, they clean, they keep cleaner longer. And then we got this kind of stuff. Another gold blush, different. This is reduced pattern stuff that I'm working with. So this is Mystic, father of, um, those two double heads over there. Wow. I, I need to get into this stuff too. This is like, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Right now I'm just into the pides and clowns and albino. So the base jeans. And this is something you haven't seen. So this is a female banana pie that's just getting ready for the breeding season. Wow, you do have a banana pie. Okay, this yeah. is really nice. Female. Female too. That's see. That's where because I have a female banana double head clown pie. Mm -hmm. The females are way more expensive. Mm -hmm. And these again, this is this all side. produced right here. Wow. So these are holdbacks, and you can see how yellow these the banana definitely. Is. That's a really nice banana pie too. Yeah, so, so yeah, I'll be breeding her. Um, I'll probably be breeding my pied clown. Uh, excuse me, my uh, pastel leopard pied clown to her. Okay. Wow, that would be, you know, have you seen those? The, the, it was, I don't think they exist. The banana clump hide? Uh, I haven't. There's I'm, one person I saw. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, okay, but these would produce pastel leopard. Pie yeah, clump. that one. Bananas. No, that hasn't. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I think I've seen That them. looks, cr it looks really good. It oh, looks nice. Yeah. That's the reason why I got into them. Um, sure. Especially even banana clowns mm -hmm. and banana pies alone. They're, those jeans alone are just nice. Oh yeah. And here's something good. Your audience probably hasn't seen much of it before. So this is a super special. That one, the, those eyes, wow. Listen. See, it doesn't need to be pure white. I mean, that little bit of uh, oh, This is one of my favorite Lucy's. Nice. This is, isn't that gorgeous? It's yeah. So unique and different. And... There's so many varieties of Lucy's too. Yeah. And just this one. But that's though. a super special. So I'll be taking it into the um, Pied Clown project also. Okay. So I'll be eventually producing super, uh, actually, uh, special pie clowns and all sorts of fun stuff. And here's something I hadn't shown you that I always like to show people. Speaking of specials. So this is a crystal. So this is what you get when you breed a special to a Mojave. My crystals are really One nice. out of four will come out crystals. Just a pretty snake. This, this is the stuff I need to get into. <laughs> no, just know? pretty. Yeah. They, they don't, you know, they don't make, a, you know, they're not a super valuable animal, but talk about pretty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Gold blush combo. Here's a gold blush pastave. Just real pretty. Look at the colors popping off that thing. The gold blush pastave, that's nice. Look, you, you can see the coloration coming up through the belly. Is this yeah. one of your original stock or no? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so right from my original Mojave that I got about 20 years ago. Yeah. And my gold blush stuff. Wow. Hi, sweetie. Beautiful snake in it. That it's one's just, really and nice. it's just a two gene, three gene animal. Yeah, yeah. But wait till Mojave. I start putting this into other, other things, you know. D definitely. That's good. 
really brighten up some stuff. Here's another pastel leopard pied uh, head clown. Not orange dream, but uh, pastel leopard pied. Wow. Pastel leopard pied. Head, pie, head clown. Head clown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, majority of your, your pied stuff has he, is head clown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that's by design. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. That's the way to go right now, too. And it actually, just it's a nice snake to get overall aesthetically yeah, pleasing. Yeah, no, I think it's a, it's a great project. Here's another banana pine. Wow, you have a few of them, huh? This is a male. His are real. Oh, okay, it's a male. Real pretty, though. Look at the color on this guy. This is, oh, yeah, this is the one you use for the... The shows? Mm -mm. No, no, that, so, that, that's the. Other I've one. taken him once. He did great, but um, no, I don't. I typically don't take him. Wow, he's really nice. But look at the yellow coming out of that. Usually, banana pies uh, kind of brown out a little bit, but my stuff uh, no. has been holding its color. This one's really nice. Yeah. yeah. And the call, all of it's from the striped pie line that I've been working okay. with. Okay. So years. you produce this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to produce uh, your first like? My first snake? Your, okay, I'd say your first snake. Oh, I was uh, up literally all night videotaping every single, it was a California king snake. Yeah. And I videotaped it laying every single egg. Okay. And it laid 12 eggs and it took me all night to videotape it, but I, I had every single egg that she laid on video. <laughs> that's that, that's why I was, I was, I remember I called you and then I told you, I was like, hey, Brian, these, these eggs are getting, they're, she's laying them. Yeah. And you're like, just, you know, give her her space, you know, like give it a couple hours. Sure. And the exact time you told me, you said it's going to take about two hours. And she was finished in that two hours. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I pulled them. And I remember that feeling. Isn't that's that a, something? That's one of the best feelings. To watch those eggs come out. And, and then when they start hatching, it's just, you know. That, like, that's another experience it's on its like own. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're cutting the eggs, like, oh, where are you going to get? Yeah. Yeah, I hardly produced anything this year, and I kind of, I really miss not having a bunch of eggs around. And I can't wait till uh, yeah, when start. it starts, you know, next season or this coming season to start producing more, more babies. Okay. Okay, well, I think that was pretty good enough, right? Um, Thank you, bud. Appreciate uh, it. Where can we find you, Brian? Uh, I'm in Campbell, California. Uh, my number is 408-981-6694. My email is fgsnakes at sbcglobal.net. I'm on Instagram almost daily. I, I haven't really, I've kind of defocused on YouTube and really more focused on Instagram these days. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. I'm always glad to help people out. Uh, I've, you know, I've made a huge amount of mistakes in my life, so hopefully I can bring that to the table and, and the... Uh, the um, learning from those mistakes to the table. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. You're welcome.